Miao and welcome to Morrowind Monday and here we are as promised in front of the Telwani Apothecary. And first of all, if you don't have something to drink, grab something. If you have something to drink, um, take a sip right now, which I'm going to do. I just fetched the water that I promised to fetch last episode. But here we are and let's enter it and let's check on them. So I'm here to ask about that leaflet. I've said all there is to say about that. Maybe if I... What do you want of me, Outlander? If I make myself super charismatic... No. Okay. Why did I... Why do I have this in my to-do list? I don't remember, but I'm going to buy the crab mead. For the restoration. Oh, restore magica. Restore magica. Mm -hmm. Restore health would also be interesting. Just need to mention it. Another one, please. Yes. I think I have a lot of restore fatigue. Fortify Magicka does not make much sense until I, unless I use a restore Magicka at the same point. So thank you. I'm going to try some potion making. I want to have the magic effect. Restore fatigue. And restore magicka. Ah, damn it. Bad thing is that now the Daedra heart is gone and um, I have not gained any any knowledge. But how about restore health? Nope. Two failed potions. Well, that's and that's it. But we tried and we managed to make some potions. Um, just restore magic is always good. Well, it's not that bad. Okay, so I'm just going to check the the one with the apothecary, and then there is the one in the Hlalu Canton. No, that was wrong. That was not the exit. This is the exit. Let's see. The boat person is south of here, so let's head to the south. Unless... No, it's not. Yeah. Let's take the boat. Oh, yeah. I forgot I need to head downstairs once more. I am all the way upstairs. I was not very intolent, but well, you know, we always make mistakes. This is where I need to go downstairs. And then there is the person, and then I can go to Bavalu Canton, where I have no clue where this person actually is that I'm looking for. Hmm, okay. And Quick this is, out, this is I what I much meant. Time. You don't actually know. So, Lalu is here. Seems very close. Either Red Oren or Foreign Quarter would be two good options. Let's go here. I mean, honestly, that, that little gold that this costs. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. And there we are. 
This is where we want to go. What do you want? And we are looking for Gadain and Darius. And I don't know why. I can't remember. And this is this is why I wanted to have this selection thing that I told you about last episode. Because uh, then it would show me which quest this belongs to. But I assume it is up because I assume it was that alchemist here in the plaza, the invisible one. Say what you want or go oh, away. That's Ganelim Salem. Oh, let's see. Pawnbroker. I guess they just oh they have also they have all sorts of things, but mostly like household items. But also expensive rings that you can enchant. Whatever well, you're looking you for, I'm sure I Go on about your business. And this was the weaponsmith. You talk too That's much, Outlander. That's definitely not him. And of course, they have bad prices because House Lalu doesn't like me. So, what do you want? No name club. I'm pretty sure they're not there. General goods. Do you want something? Uh, that's him. Greetings, friend. What a wonderful day. As you can see, all is well with me, or should I say us? Glethel and I are now married, and nothing could be better. Nothing could be better? It's been simply wonderful, my friend. Glethel and I are perfectly suited for one another. Here, please take this as a token of our gratitude. The flame mirror robe. Flame mirror robe sounds like a robe that mirrors attacks. Reflect 20 to 30% and resist fire. Now this sounds interesting. Of course I'm going... Ah, it's cast when used again. All these sound like, like they would be constant effects. The successor games, um, they have way more constant effect items. Thank you very much. So what do you have to sell? Or what do you buy? I'm going to sell my old robe. Simply because this one is enchanted. Oh, it's also very expensive. 4,000. Mm, what does he have? Nothing that I can use, I guess. Nothing that I can use. Oh, there is a little, a little thing. It's like restore fatigue. And more restore fatigue. Um, this also was fortify magicka. So f fortify magicka is only interesting if you all have restore magicka at the same time. Um, there's lots of restore fatigue stuff. Yeah, but I already have. Uh, this is, I already have Restore Fatigue up here. Well then, this is, this is my offer. Thank you. And I can also put a check on this quest. Of course, in the end we have lost money on this quest, but still. Um, so what do we do next? I mean, we want to get 5,000 gold. Um, we can head to the Zainab camp, which should be this, and check what goods they want to buy. Let's do this. So for, for this we go to Telmora, Vos, and then walk over to the Zainab camp. Let me check on her. Let's see what it looks like. Interesting. Go no, on. She has a regular eyes. It, 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 it looked at first for me like she had yes. she had weird eyes in, in, in the way that like she's a zombie. Or well, not, not a zombie like in the game, but she's she's been controlled by him. I'm sorry, I forgot to turn off the to-do list. Maybe one thing that I should do is um is uh, write down um a new feature. Close to-do list after Let's say 10 seconds or let's say 20 10 seconds or something. And um, 
and change your eye color while to do list is open. So if the whole if the whole application that you saw in the last episode, if the whole application turns red or something like that, to show me the to-do list is open, I will immediately notice I forgot to close it. But you know what? It's not after 10 seconds, I would say, after losing focus. This means as soon as I go back to the game, um, the to-do list will close for you. Okay, so we are heading out to the foreign quarter. Well, basically, we want to go to Cedric Mora. Hmm, so it would be Mage's Guild. Travel, foreign quarter. What do you want? I'm wondering if I should use the Silt Strider to get somewhere, but I think... I think getting up here is the fastest way. Oh, I know it's not faster, but it does train. So this is one way to train, I think, acrobatics it is. But basically, I just want to get up here. Foreign Quarter Plaza where the Mage's Guild is located. Citizen. Well, I actually am an Outlander. Okay, now I can use the travel, the Mage's Guild to travel to Sedrith Mora and from there the boat now I have something to do with you, which is asking you to take me to Cedric Mora. Thank you very much. Welcome, friend. What can I help? What a winning. <laughs> Since these were teleports, now we can I also only have a jump over more. these guards. Since these were teleports. Um, I did not recover anything, while when I take the Silt Strider, I recover, um, well, it's, it's like resting. Also showing that time has passed. And now we take a boat. And I think this will be the last episode I record for today. So two episodes in one sitting. I think that is not that bad. Especially since I've been yawning from the start. So here we go. And... So we're going to travel to tell more. My time is precious, so make it quick. Okay, then take me to Vos. Thank you. Make it quick, Outlander. I'm not talking to you. Don't have any quarrels with you. So now let us see. Go to the Zainab camp. I think we should first rest until healed. As I have assumed. Because there will be enemies here. Let's just take this stuff. I mean this this does increase our destruction skill, but I think we should instead try conjuring. I mean, I do have the Conjuration Trainer, but that's not, that doesn't do much. I want to have an enemy that fights for me. And I mean, I can't do lots of that, 
So let's let's try with the bone walker. If we get into a fight, let's see how this how this will change things for us. There is a Nyx Hound. Let's, let's try Bone Walkering. Maybe maybe even Bone Walker and Skeleton. Or Bone Walker and Shield. That's what many many of the of the um yeah, this is why I want to stop um, after this shield five points. Yeah, no, grumble, grumble. So yes, the bomb walker did, did kill the Nyx Hound. Nice. But now we need to rest until healed. So the good thing with the bone walker is that when it hits, it automatically uh, damages intelligence. Uh, no, 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 strength. So the enemies should not be able to, to walk permanently. There we go. You know what? I'm just going to remove the corpse. So there we go. And head down the road. It's just this plant here to me looked like someone, a faraway person, um, who holds like a pike or something. Okay, let me save because this seems to be a dangerous area. Yes, it is. Let's see how the bone walker fares against that person. See this this effect that is on him. This is the damage strength, which should cause him to not be able to walk anymore. But I can also add with my fire bite. So, what did he have? I can actually take everything because I now have room in my inventory. And there we are, I can heal. So I am going to, uh, which was the button to open the menu, was it? It was F1, yes. I'm going to change the, I'm going to do the summon here. Bone Walker. You Even does that ah. far away damage. But mainly he distracts the enemy, which is good enough for me. If he has the aggro, then I'm not going to attack. Yeah. 
There we go. Thank you, Bone Walker. And there we go. Let us see what's inside. You in one. This, of course, is very nice. And that was number three. Let us see what they had. Small Kwama eggs, which restore fatigue. This stuff. Some money, which counts as stolen, by the way. But I can sleep until healed. And nothing. What's in this sack? Again, nothing. Well, there is restoration stuff in there, which I can take to make some potions. It's small things, but nonetheless. Let's see. There we go. Let us see if we can have some restore health. No, that was no success. But restore fatigue, there is lots of that. But first, restore magic, not fortify. Restore magical, please. Oh, we don't have any restore magical. Oh, one, two, three, four. There we go. Lots of. Potions have been created, and we're close to being full, so I'm going to use Mark. I'm going to use um, CV Intervention to get rid of the temple and to sell all that stuff. So where did I end up? In Aldrun, which is nice because there is... Actually, people here now we're way slower again. Now I notice the slowness because I noticed the fastness in the last episode. So there is this general goods trader here, and they should be. Uh, what now? Nothing. I just want to sell something. Oh, he has something to say about Iena Sarandas. Have you heard he's given his house to the temple and is studying to be a priest in the Aldrun temple? The word is all over town. Oh, yeah. I have heard. So, arrow club, short bow, chitin swords. These items are of no value to me. And they are actually not that valuable either. I actually think, if I'm not mistaken, then eating things also increases your alchemy skill. So let me just do this. I'm going to keep this. I see this land suits you. We welcome you freely, Outlander. Uh, 
Let me see if the attribute goes back to normal. And it does, yes. Okay. So let us see. We should just do recall. I failed casting recall. Interesting. And another night of sleep, or another few hours of sleep. And now we are heading on, prepared to summon the next Stormwalker. We want to head to the south, though. Uh, roughly, yes. Um, basically, around here. This is this. Yes, sounds seems to be a good path. So we're going to head this way in the hope that we will need, need not need reach the sign up camp. And of course, it's become rather foggy. Oh, a rat. I just wanted to um, summon the Bone Walker in, in as an automatism. But maybe that would have even been good because I need to train doing that. I need to train conjuration. Because I want to have better summons. Of course, as you can, as you have, might have seen, the summons that I do have are pretty weak. Uh, no, sorry, expensive. It, with regard to Magicka, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. This is pretty weird. Well, let us see. This must be the sign-up camp here because I was right next to it on the map. It should be right, right here. Basically, nearly where I am. Firebite is strong enough against these kind of enemies already. There is the camp. So let us see if they greet us well or if they will try to kill us. I'm. Make it quick, Outlander. Sir, I'm looking for the wise woman. So. You've come all this way to ask us about the trade goods wanted among the sign-up. Well then, this is an easy matter. So, what are the trade goods wanted? Trade goods we have in plenty. What does the Outlander think we are? Savages? Because we do not have the things the settled people have. Big buildings, heavy furniture. We have no use for this trash. And do we need to dress ourselves in foolish clothes and stand about with fancy weapons to feel like men? Ha! <laughs> But of course you do not know the Ashlanders. It is not your fault, Outlander. Okay, then, then let me check the journal. When I asked an Ashlander what trade goods the sign-up need, he said that the sign-up do, do not need the big buildings, furniture, fancy clothes, and the weapons of settled peoples. So I think I should ask more people. I guess, I guess then at some point it'll kind of crystallize what they actually need. You come to us, Outlander. You ask us about the trade goods wanted among the sign-up. We are just the women. No one listens to us. But since you ask, we will tell you what, do you what we think. So what do you think? Concerning this, I can only speak to a friend. So basically, you want me to... Uh, it was Charisma Boost was the name. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. We sign up, make everything we need. We do not need things from outsiders. But 
Our men get common diseases and blight diseases when they go out hunting or tending the herds. They are sometimes gone for long times and cannot return all the way back to camp to be cured by the wise woman. The settled people make the bottled magics that cure common disease and blight disease, but the Zainab are often in short supply of these things. Such bottled magics might be the trade goods we would want. I, I just like, love the sound of these wind chimes. It's so relaxing. I told you we need nothing. Okay, so so it's basically my time. If you ask a man, you get answer A. If you ask a woman, you get answer B. This make it quick, Outlander. Yeah. This is Ashken. My time is precious, so make it quick. Welcome, Outlander. The hospitality of the open-handed Zainab is always open to travelers. Hospitality. Travelers are always welcome here, Outlander. All that is required is that you speak and act with courtesy, and that you share your news of the outside world to pay for your hospitality, for a wise chief keeps himself informed about events. Well, here are the news. Thank you for sharing these tales and rumors. For our part, we have little news. We hear other tribes are troubled by blight storms and monsters, but we are the mighty Zainab, and such things do not bother us. Should I also arrange a meeting with a sign up? I think this is this is the wrong entry. No, it doesn't show up in my list. I'm basically checking for the wise woman's hut. To see if she has something different to say. There it is. Okay, it's again it's I can only speak Quickly, to the Outlander, friend. I haven't no much problem. time. So you come to ask me about the trade goods wanted by the Zainab. Perhaps I should ask you why you want to know. But perhaps I already know why. The Major Lord, Master Arayan, is shrewd. He thinks to bind us to Telvani ways by binding us to Telvani things. But I see no harm and much good in giving you an answer. We need, to we need more cure common disease and cure blight disease potions. Our men travel long distances hunting and herding, and when they catch diseases, which they often do, they are too busy, or too proud, to hurry back to camp for my cures. So if we could give them potions to carry with them, they could cure themselves. You roof-loving people are better at some things than our people, and bottling magic is one of them. Oh, thank you. Do we have something to sell? Bottled magic. But, yeah, but only cure common disease. Okay. Thank you. Then I shall return to my master. I did not know. Report back to Telenian in Tower of Telvos. Well, this is also easy. I thought this was a quest for, um, for, um, I don't remember his name, but the, the lizard in, um, Sedrith Mora. Or did he want to, was he the one to arrange the meeting? Let me read Skink. No. That was a different camp. That was a different camp. Well, yeah, I want to go to Telvos, which is close by. So that was not a bad thing to do, because uh, since, since I already know the... I mean, I already completed the main game of, of Morrowind. I never completed the add-ons, though. But I do know what the where the main quest goes. There go. If you don't have magic, then just use weapons. I do 
have the Okay, if the Bone Walker hits, he's very strong against the Gugutti. So yes, this is this is training. This is just summoning training for me. There we go. Kaguti always attacks whoever is in front of him. The rest has been interrupted. So this creature is immune to my fire magic. <laughs> and he's able to defeat a bone walker. Wow. And finally I could sleep without interruption. So let's real quick head back to Master Well not Orion, but there, the conjuration skill increased. So the main issue that I have is that my magic card doesn't. Uh, it's it's not enough. That's that's the words that was that was lacking. we've ended in the quest, we're going to call it a day. If you care to talk, I would consider it a privilege.
and here we are in the front of the doors of the Tower of Telvos, and this is who we need to report to. So I, hello to readers, I know about the trade goods wanted. When we know the trade goods wanted by the Zainab, we hope to engage them in trade as a step forward, establishing better relationships with them. Ah, I needed to click work. Uh -huh. Thank you for your report. So you think cure common disease and cure blight disease potions would be valuable to our trade goods? That makes sense. Master Orion will be pleased. He can produce such potions very easily. Well done, Nighty. Here's your 100 drakes with my thanks. I'll tell Master how you've handled this. I think he'll be pleased. And here, you'll find this amulet handy when visiting Telvani wizards. So this is basically... Yeah, stronger levitate than I'm than I'm currently having. But I might keep the amulet because it doesn't weigh much and I won't use any magicka if I use the amulet. Well met. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll have a nice week. See you next week. Bye bye.